What up, players? Warboss tail up in this mud. Look what finally came in the mail. It's the Avatars of War Dwarf Berserkers Regiment. Or as I call them, Dwarf Slayers with brown hair instead of orange hair. This looks like it's a pre-order special edition. Don't know if that's the same current one that they still sell on the website now. But it's got that seal on it, so... So that makes me happy. Um, let's take a look at what's inside before we look at the frames. There is an amazing amount of things in here compared to uh, Games Workshop. Dwarf box set. This is what they're gonna look like when they're all built up. You see how dynamic their poses are. They've all got you can you can style them differently. Um, you can place them in different directions on their on their bases. It looks like they all line up with a little bit of of uh, maneuvering. I'm gonna see just how well it matches up. Um, but let's yeah let's let's read through there. You've got like your basic instructions on how to build one of these. Um, you've got 20 bodies, 20 legs, 5 two-handed weapons, 30 one-handed weapons, 20 heads, 25 hairstyles, 5 beer mugs, 30 dwarven ancestor icons, 10 body piercings, 20 left arms, right arms, 5 nose to ear chains, awesome, 5 baby dragon skulls, awesome, 5 raised middle finger hands, those are hilarious, 2 dragon head statues, 1 dwarven berserker statue, one dwarven book, one hair comb, one dragon cloak, one champion's axe, hairstyle, one banner pole, one severed giant's head, what? Five severed orc's heads, one carnix, which is a musician instrument, and 20 bases. They also don't tell you this, but this came in the box as well. A movement tray. I'm wondering whether or not this is uh, something that comes in all the Avatars of War Berserkers regiment sets or this just came with um, mine because I got mine on eBay. Oh. Thunder. Thunder and lightning in this house. Anyways, you get 20 slot of square slot of spaces. And then let's look at the frame, shall we? Before a tornado breaks down my house. Here are the legs. <laughs> Raised finger, that's awesome. Here are dwarven icons. You've got a lot of small little bits. Um, you've got this top knot, which doesn't match with the dwarven um, GW Berserker styles, like this mohawk, which we're gonna keep. They're baby dragon heads. But I figure I'm not gonna use those and just have some like straight, completely bald berserkers without the mohawks. I think um, if I do that, mix mix them up with these mohawks, it'll look um, just fine. And you can see that there's the, the detail on, on the sculpts of the legs and the, the bodies just looks really, really great compared to Games Workshop's um, Troll Slayers, which, you know, granted, they were made back in the 90s. So, like early 90s, I think. So, like, they're severely in need of a reboot and a re-sculpt, but... Um, the detail in the sculpt is just really great with the beards, with the um, with the the legs and the toes and and the, um, the belts and the clothes pieces, cloth pieces and the leather pieces. It just looks really, really, really well detailed. So you get five of these. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five of these frames, identical frames all pretty much have are, have the same thing they're all pretty identical and then you also get this command frame which has this dwarven I, it's called a berserker statue so I guess you're gonna have to paint it in in you know stone effects or marble effects and then there's a top knot for it there's a little <laughs> dwarven hair comb here is the um, champion's dragon cloak Here's a severed giant's head, which on the box they actually give to one of the guys in the back. And that looks like the giant's head, like he's swinging it and holding it. So that's a really fun little thing. You get the book, which looks like, yeah, it does go on the banner here. So you could put it like here under the berserker statue. Um, you also get these two dragon heads. And so it looks like with the banner here, they put the book, a baby dragon head, an orc head. The berserker statue holding the two dragon statues like they just threw everything on the banner so that is an option or you can use them to decorate your banner or um, your bases some other way uh, here's the instrument and you'll notice that it's got this little 
horn thing that sticks on the other side of it somewhere. Um, champion's mohawk, champion's axe. So, um, really great stuff. I, I know there's going to be a lot of things that, um, a lot of extra bits left over, but compared to the GW stuff, maybe it's just because the Games Workshop stuff is just so, is just so um, outdated. Like, I'm really excited about being able to use the leftover bits in other fashion, in other ways, like um, sprinkling them throughout the unit. Um, yeah, it looks like the leftover bits might be these beer mugs, um, the dragon heads, like lots of little little bits that you can sprinkle on the bases. These ancestor icons and orc heads. The orc heads, you'll notice, vaguely resemble the uh, Warhammer style of orcs. So they could pass if you paint them up kind of similar to your um, uh, uh, to, to a green skin in Games Workshop with the bright green colors. Uh, I've got that huge underbite, the piggish kind of nose, the really big lower jaw. So, so they're really going for, obviously, uh, uh, the same look as the Games Workshop style with the dwarves, um, berserkers with the pleated braided beards, and uh, obviously the mohawk hairdos. So um, I'm going to build these guys up and show you what they look like all built up and ranked up in a full regiment in the second part of this video. All right, so here we have the finished unit of Dwarf Berserkers. I decided to go with the Games Workshop movement base. The um, the one that came in the box didn't really fit for some reason. The, the, the bases, Games Workshop bases, just seemed a little bit too, uh, too big, didn't fit. Some of these guys I had to put on some cork because they were, um, with the with the axes, the way they were, some of these double-handed axes, or two, two, two hand weapons, um, jutting out at the side, some of them just needed a little bit of height. It also gives a little bit of variety. So I really love that there are so many varieties of mohawks, and um, just the fact that you can pose your guys any way you want. Unfortunately, this does lead you to have to build them in a certain way, or, or um, glue them on the base at a certain angle or else you are going to get the unfortunate um, effect of them not fitting. So the goal that I always try to strive for is that no piece of one model is touching the next model if they're all on single bases like this. And I think they just barely managed to accomplish that. Shh. So um, my cat's meowing. So. Um, what's left on the sprue? I decided because I already have the Slayer um, standard and musician from Games Workshop, the metal models, I decided not to build them up. But I did build up the banner just to show you what it looks like when it's finished and built up. And this is the Avatars of War banner. You see it's got uh, the hand that connects to the arm. The warrior, it's got uh, a book of grudges on it. You've got your Berserker statue holding two statues of dragon heads. So, looks really good, the detail is really good. These little icons look so Games Workshop-y. <laughs> I'm surprised Avatars of War hasn't been, uh, you know, attacked yet. Especially with like all the other Troll Slayer motifs, I'm surprised they haven't been assaulted by a team of Games Workshop ninjas to get their ideas back and break their sculpts and stuff. But my favorite has got to be, I only made one of these because I want to save the rest of the middle finger hands to put on my orcs my plastic orcs, but this guy is one of, is probably my favorite in the, in the whole kit. And um, yeah, how awesome is that? I love that their beards all have different, um, different styles too, but they're long. The mohawks are big, the beards are long, the, the sculpts of the actual models are really beefy and massive, and um, you know, the detail on, on, on the muscles and and everything looks just really out of this world and really big. And the axes, the axe heads look really big and um, beefy. So, so these dwarves actually look like they can get in a scrap and, you know, legitimately come out on the other end of it, even though they don't have any armor. It's just 
like their their expressions, the sculpts for their faces look really, really top notch, really like angry, grumpy, sour, and dour faced. And um, I'm really happy with the sculpts. I'm really happy with the kit. What do I have left over in the box set? Well, like I said, I've got the the standard, and I've also got the uh, musician's horn. I also have a bunch of the nose to ear earrings. They're so small. Um, let me show you how small they are. Look how small that is. You really need like a pair of really fine tweezers to get those on. You also get a bunch of these ancestor icons. I couldn't figure out what to do with them, so I left them on. You also get these braided um, ponytails, which I decided to leave off because they add a lot of um, uh, a lot of area to the model on from behind. So you're gonna need to do a lot of fancy positioning. And the orc heads, I decided I didn't need as well. But other than that. You've got like some extra mohawks, the top knot, baby dragon heads, um, these these dwarf mugs, and of course the middle fingers and some more ancestor icons. So these are the things that I didn't use, just using what I have on the sprue, and I think I came up with a pretty good looking characterful unit. So again, thanks Avatars of War. Great sculpt. My review, I give it a thumbs up, A+. Thanks, we'll see you in the next one. A+.